before I take a shower, I tend to either play music or I listen to an audiobook or I'll watch something on or listen rather to something on YouTube. So the other day I decided to listen to um, an episode of motivational speaker Marie uh, Forleo. And she was talking about how every year since I can't even rem remember because I've been listening to her um for several years now, but every year she does something called B school where she teaches women different aspects of starting a business, owning a business, maintaining a business, all that sort of thing. And I'm just going to paraphrase something that she said, um, that isn't new to me. Um, but just hearing her say it kind of like took the breath out of my lungs for a second. Now, in order to uh, participate in this program you do have to pay for it because it's over the course of several days and they have guest speakers and all that and she said just to paraphrase that the most disappointing messages and emails that she gets from women are the ones where there's something like I would love to take this class I would love to take these courses, but I have to ask my husband for permission if I can. I would love to take these courses, but I have to ask my husband if it's okay. I would love to take these courses, but I have to ask my husband for the money. And now, what do the young people say on TikTok? May this kind of love never find me. I've been through a lot of shit in my life. And um, wise people don't have to learn the lessons in order to uh, learn the lessons, if you know what I mean. So I, I hope that this message lands on whoever is willing to receive it. I never again want to love a man so much that he gets to be judge and jury over my future. I never want to love a man so much that he controls the purse strings as far as if I can continue my education or invest in myself. I never, ever want to be in a situation where I have to ask someone if it is okay for me to continue my education in some way or to begin taking some kind of courses that can better myself. And this is not a new message that I am preaching. I've touched on this before. And it tends to strike a chord with women who our stay-at-home moms and they'll hit me up and they'll say something like but I love my kids and I love my husband and I'd rather be in the house than out there like other women how much is your education worth and your knowledge and your freedom what kind of example do you want to set for your children I'm not talking about being a stay-at-home mom that's not a bad thing but I am talking about not being able to make decisions about your future without asking your husband's permission, whether it be for the money to do so or to simply do it. And whether or not you can invest in yourself is contingent upon if he's having a good day that day. You have to make him his favorite meal and suck up to him or do other things. And we're told that these sacrifices are because we love our children and our families. And I'm going I'm to let you in on a little secret here. So us moms, a lot of us tend to do this thing where we're like, and I gave up everything for my children. And I want to tell you something that I hear from adult children and that I've witnessed with my eyes and heard with my ears, just watching various TV shows and interviews. Those kids grow up and they take on the burden of having to take you to places and buy you things to give you the life that they witness you lose. And they never say it proudly. They say it with tears in their eyes and sadness as if they robbed their mom of something. And, and one woman, most recently, she made a video talking about this. And she said, I get it. You know, if I tell my mom that she's going to say that she loved doing it and she did it for me, and, but I still feel bad. I never want my children to bear the burden of having to give me the life that they think that I lost. I want my kids to live their own lives and worry about them making themselves happy and being the best people that they could be. Not I have to solve my mom's young adulthood and childhood trauma. My kids see me living 
and being creative and having fun and trying new things. They see me treating myself and, and having friends and a social life. And the highlight of my life was when my daughter told me that I am an influential woman and she wants to be just like me. When I die, put that on my tombstone. My greatest joy is not just my two children, but the fact that they've witnessed me build my life and live it. They've witnessed me learn things and grow and better myself and smile and have fun. I don't want my daughter thinking that she just is a is void of any humanness and she has to give it all up and never have fun again and never learn again and never have joy and a man is the most important that I don't want my daughter to learn that and I don't want my son expecting that of a woman patriarchy has us thinking that the greatest gift that we can give to our children is abandoning ourselves that's a burden to your children who will grow up thinking that they have to fix you well, I can't go too far because mom doesn't have any friends, so I have to stay close by because she doesn't have anybody. And stories just like that. They had to program us to believe that giving up everything is fun and because of love. Meanwhile, men get to live their stupid ass dreams. Your dumbass husband thinking he's going to be the next Tiger Woods. Your stupid ass boyfriend thinking he's going to be the next Ed Sheeran. Your regular degular ass boyfriend who spends all his life savings on fishing equipment because he thinks he's going to be on ESPN for a pro bass tournament. All the stupid shit that they want to do. Advancing their careers, getting promoted, having boys night. They don't have to give up shit, but we have to give up everything. And why? Because we love our families. And we love our husbands, and that's what good women do. 